If we're trying to build the future of money here in this space, you can't have money just fail because of infrastructure failure. You should have the ability to have freedom of transaction, right? My name is Arthur Sabinsev. I'm the CEO of Grove. We built a custom protocol known as Pocket Network. Our goal is to make sure that all of the world's transactions settle. We are permissionless rails for general data transport. We are providing sound, decentralized, and incentivized infrastructure using Pocket's architecture to help decentralize XRPL EVM's infrastructure. Pocket Network specifically decentralizes demand and supply because it gets rid of any of the choke points for infrastructure failure or censorship by allowing you to make sure that your transaction settles no matter what. The applications we work with are multi-chain by nature. They're usually wallets or decentralized exchanges or DEXs, and they require you um, to have multiple chains accessible to make the product useful. This is part of the core value proposition of Pocket Network. We make sure uh, in this multi-chain world that we have every single chain under the sun available. With the XRPL EVM, I think it is smart to move to the biggest ecosystem in the world because what it does is it unlocks interest to a whole swath of Ethereum developers, right? The fact that you're built on an EVM enables that. XRPL EVM is built on Cosmos. Um, and being built on Cosmos gives you access to something called the Axelar Bridge. And the Axelar Bridge makes you cross-chain immediately. It's the XRP asset that makes the XRPL EVM an exciting destination for development. The XRP asset itself is extremely unique relative to its peers. Why? First, it is pitched as a cross-border payment neutral asset. The one thing that it does that no other asset in the history of this space does is that it's stood up against the US legal system and won multiple times. And in doing so, it has an awe of credibility, more so than any other asset. But now that it's accessible on the biggest developer-friendly ecosystem in the world, takes XRP off its island, puts it into the biggest developer ecosystem, and allows this asset to flourish. The XRP asset itself is now programmable and composable, meaning it can be used in DeFi, meaning it can be used as a gas token, meaning it can be used in automation, interaction with smart contracts. This is just a better asset that can be used across a whole swath of chains because the EVM exists, because it lives there. The world that we're going to is going to involve a bunch of autonomous agents, basically computer programs that are just operating, doing whatever it is that they need to do on their own. And the XRP asset can be the settlement asset that in which they transact with each other when doing uh, either yield aggregation, paying for any type of online service, because it is a cross-border, regional, neutral asset that is now programmable, composable, and available everywhere. Start by thinking about how you're going to leverage that asset. Think about how you can leverage the RLUSD stablecoin, which again is an institutionally grade stablecoin that is backed by a compliant and legally sound organization behind it. So if you can find a specific use case for those two assets, 100% you have all the reason in the world to come and build on the XRPL EVM. Thank you.